Hello there, I'm Ryan Chan, CEO and founder of Upkeep. Welcome back to our video series where we provide you with tools and resources to help your maintenance and reliability teams thrive. Today, we're taking a deep dive into the varied world of school bus seatbelt laws and what they mean for your operations. We'll break down the differences in regulations across states, reveal why these laws exist, and discuss the global perspective. We'll also uncover what this all means for your maintenance strategy. So stay tuned to understand how keeping an eye on these rules and ensuring regular maintenance can enhance your overall operations. Now let's dive into the world of seatbelt laws on school buses. These laws can vary greatly from state to state, but they can be broadly categorized into two main groups. States where seatbelts are required by law and states where they are not. As of now, only six states mandate seatbelts on school buses. These are Louisiana, New Jersey, New York, Texas, California, and Florida. But there's more to this story. While these six states do require seatbelts, they also have certain exceptions to these rules. For instance, older school buses might not be required to have seatbelts. Also, there are weight restrictions to consider. Lighter buses are regulated by the federal government, whereas heavier buses are subject to the individual regulations of each state. You might be wondering, why is this the case? Well, school buses are considered to be some of the safest vehicles on the roads today. The need for the extra safety that belts would provide is quite small. There are also valid concerns about installing seat belts, such as the cost, the minimal need, and the likelihood that children may not use them at all. Taking a global perspective, the view is similar to that of America. Canada, for example, does not require seat belts as a general rule. However, if they are used, certain regulations must be adhered to. Meanwhile, Hong Kong is contemplating this issue, though it's worth noting that many of their buses are used for other purposes. Despite the varying opinions, one point remains consistent. School buses are some of the safest vehicles on the roads today. Now, what does all this mean for school bus companies in these states? It has significant implications for their overall fleet maintenance strategy and most of the maintenance work done on school buses. The key is to stay informed and up to date with the rules. While the laws surrounding seatbelts may not change, other maintenance on buses must be kept current through routine maintenance. This ensures that all parts and equipment are running smoothly and efficiently. So in a nutshell, keeping an eye on the rules and ensuring regular maintenance is the way to go. Thank you for watching. We've covered the varying seatbelt laws across states and their implications for your maintenance strategy. Remember, being informed and ensuring regular maintenance is key to efficient operations. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. For more resources, visit our website at upkeep.com. Stay tuned and keep your operations running smoothly.